What is up guys, Systematic Psycho here. We are back with some more Arma 3, and we're doing a mod review, right? I mean, it's all the, uh, the Battlefield 4-ness. I'm, uh, squeezing this mod review here. I was, I was tempted to wake up and just start playing Battlefield 4, but I was like, you know what? This mod is too great to ignore anymore. That rhymed. Haha. <laughs> Alright, so, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and hop right into this, uh, but real quick, yeah, I just set up some, uh, targets. I'm at that dry lake bed on, uh, Altus, so. Yeah, it's where this little spot is. Oops, have my free look on. Alright, so, yeah. Okay. Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and hop into this. We got. Uh, I'll quickly just go through all the weapons really quick here. So we just have, uh, you know, basic M4s, M4s with rails, uh, M203s. Oh, they got the M4A1, which I neglected to see the first time around. But you know, the difference in the M4 and the M4A1 is the M4 is a three burst. The M4A1 is fully automatic. The Vlotor SBR. I don't know. I just said that like Russian because it looks kind of Russian. I don't know. All right, but the SBR is uh, just stands for short barreled rifle, and it's just a uh, it's just a compact CQB. I uh, guess oriented uh, 5.56 M4, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so next is M16A1 back in Nam, right? So uh, yeah, this is the uh, M16. This is still the first M16, uh, and it, just, it should have a 20 round mags. We don't have 20 round, 20, 20 round mags for it yet, so I don't have to plan on adding those. Uh, Robert Hammer is the guy who makes this mod, so I don't know if he plans on doing that stuff. But uh, I'll tell you a couple things that they plan on doing with this mod in the future. But, uh, yeah, so the M16A2, another, the, the slightly newer version of the M16. Uh, M16A3, which I think is fully automatic, and then the M16A4, which is a three burst. I could be wrong, we're gonna check them out in a second. Uh, and then you have these, uh, custom, like, manufacturer versions of the M16s, like the, uh, the M16A4 Matek, this is, uh, I presume that's how you say it, because I've never heard of it. Uh, it's just a... Just a couple custom features makes it look better than the other M4. An MK12 Mod Zero. It's a uh, it's a military designation. I'm not sure who uses it, but uh, it's just a sniper variant of the M16 meant for taking out uh, targets at longer ranges, like a designated marksman rifle, but chambered 5.56. The Samar, which is uh, I guess sort of the same thing. The only difference to me looks like the rear sight and maybe even the front sight, and then the flash hider on the the diff uh, the uh, M16s. Uh, AR-10 being next in line, which is like a 7.62 version of the M16. I don't like how he put the old one in here and not the newer AR-10s. Uh, because if you're familiar with the gun, the SR-25, that's kind of based around the, uh, the AR-10. And, uh, he put the older one in here, and I, I don't know. I mean, he could have kept this in here and put the newer versions, but I'm not the one making this mods, and I don't understand how difficult it is to do that stuff. Uh, we'll just check out some of the scopes here. We got an aim point. Uh, it looks really nice. It's got the kill flash on the front. You can see it while looking through the scope. You got an EOTech 553, uh, an aim point T1, which is just a mini red dot, uh, Trijicon reflex sight, uh, Delft scope. It's kind of a weird scope and only can attach to the AR-10. We got a short dot, which is, uh, it, it says right there, it's a 1 to a 6 times magnification. It's meant for uh, medium to longer range engagements in ACOG. Needs no introduction. Then the TS thirty A two, which is uh, the uh, if you remember this scope was uh, on the DMR in Arma two, but uh, yeah, this is uh, another. It's a longer range scope. It says eighteen to seventy five times, but I don't think it zooms in that far. I might be wrong. I, I could be stupid. And then the DMS. That's not part of the mod. That's actually in Arma three now. If you haven't seen that, and then it just puts all the scopes in here. We got a Peck two laser box uh, or yeah, Peck box. And uh, it's a, then you got the tan one that's it's a little bit shorter, it looks better. And then you got the top mounted version of that, and then you get the top mounted version of that. And then uh, you get the M4 side rail covers, and then you get the M4 full rail covers, which is awesome. I love that. So if you want to have rails on your gun and make it look sexy, and then you can do that. No tactical advantage, it's just it's preference, and, I, and I, I love that. Same with the M16. You got a surefire flashlight. Those things are expensive in real life, but they're really nice. It actually seems to do a lot better than the, uh, the default flashlight in the game. Get a sound suppressor. That's just the I think it's the default game one. And then they got s different suppressors like the KAC uh, silencer co. Silencer co is pretty big, and uh, I think it's OPS. So these are all for different guns. They don't all they're not all universal. I don't think. And then you get the different mags down here, but those are uh, default armor mags. Uh, speaking of mags, they're they're talking about because the ammo the damage of the gun is based on the mag that it uses, not the actual gun itself. So. Uh, they're talking about adding separate mags just for these guns because they don't like the damage that Arma 2 has, or Arma 3 has, uh, to, like the vanilla damage because it's not enough. It's kind of awkward shooting somebody like three or four times out of distance and they flinch. But uh, let's get to the meat and taters. We're going to go ahead and grab, uh, we'll go ahead and grab an M4 first just, just for the hell of it, right? 
And we'll, I'm not going to go through every last one of these, but I'll give you a good look. The models on these things are phenomenal. The textures are great. Uh, everything. It's just, it's wonderful, right? So, um, sounds are even good, too. I think, uh, I think if you've played Arma 2, you'll kind of recognize these. I'll probably, I gotta shoot the gun now and shut up. It's probably what you want to see. Actually, no, that's not the sound from the RH Arma 2 version. I lied. Yeah, this thing's pretty beast. I think he has the M4, so it only gives three bursts. Uh, they're talking about updating the recoil to use the models of the uh, the TRG or the 5.56s in Arma 3 as well, because they said, it, you know, I think they were talking about it wasn't enough. I'm just basing it off of what I've seen in the forums. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab an M4. Actually, let's do the M4A1 RIS, and then we'll go ahead and pop a couple attachments on it as well, uh, just to show you it's fully auto. Let me get full auto right here. See, not a lot, whole lot of recoil. It's just doesn't seem to do much, but uh, yeah, I definitely agree. Up the recoil a little bit, not too much, because then it gets kind of ridiculous. But uh, I'll go put my favorite scope of this mod so far is this aim point. You're gonna love this thing. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw. I'll show you the rail covers, and then we'll put a uh, surefire attack light or something on it, or a uh, peck box. Uh, we'll do the full rail covers because that can go on there, and then that uh, it's starting to look like uh, one of the M4s, the base M4s for Arma. Too. Well, that came vanilla. And then you can put the different suppressors on there. I think this one goes. The silencer code can go on there. You do the regular 5.56, five, which is ridiculous. This one can't go on there. This one can't go on there. This one can't go on there. So, um, we'll just go ahead and put that on there. And let's check that out. Looks pretty sexy. Look at that. That's the kill flash. And you know what I'll do for you, really quick, just so you can see. It's, you're actually looking through the scope and seeing the kill flash on there. It's, it's, it's actually, it actually exists. So, oops, you kind of see through the gun there. Right, well, I can't really get a good angle on it, but you see what I'm talking about. That's epic. It looks really good. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you switch your fire rate, it actually has the clicky noise, and the, the thing is animated. And all the scopes are animated properly. You don't. It's not just a dot printed on there. Uh, I lied about putting the flashlight. We'll put it on another one. Uh, so just get, you can drop it on the ground. For some reason, you can't put any more stuff in the crate. We'll go ahead and check out the SBR. Really good looking. Uh, we'll put. What are we gonna put on there? We well, can try the Trigicon Reflex, and then we'll put. Uh, can we do it? No, we can't do a peck box and a flashlight. So we'll do the surefire. And I'll let you see that. And uh, for the hell of it, so you can see, it's like I said, it uh, it's it's a lot better at nighttime than the uh, the default tack light. Can I get it there? There we go. Really dark. Wow, it's epic. But uh, it's, it's kind of really hard to see, but it does shine out there. If you have something that'll reflect the light decently, you can actually see the light on it at a distance like there's targets out there you actually get a little light on that target then boom no light so yeah it's a lot better and then I'll just go ahead and switch I wonder if they have the uh, the regular one so I can demonstrate here for you how suck the vanilla one is compared to this I don't think they have it or I'm passing it oh there it is toggle it yeah so you can hardly see anything with that. So, I'll go ahead and make it daytime again. Oops. Alright, quit. It's gonna be a little bright for you. Sorry about that. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and shoot these guys. I don't need a suppressor. Looks like the sight's a little misaligned. Oh well, who cares. So, you can see it's making the same sound. Okay, you know what? Don't laugh at me. So yeah, there's that, and then we'll go ahead and get to an M16, and I'll do one of these custom M16s. Um, you know what? For video's sake, we're gonna go ahead and get one of these, because why not? That's, uh, this is my favorite M16 of all time, especially because of the, uh, 
the front forearm, the way it looks with the uh, grenade launcher, so badass. Uh, but yeah, we'll put, can we put this scope on there? No, we cannot. Uh, I don't think we can really put anything on this, so we'll just, uh, it's got the 20 round mag, unfortunately, and we'll go ahead and grab a couple of noob tubes, right? Uh, we'll go ahead and drop a couple, I'll go ahead and click it. Oh, that butterfly, scared the hell out of me. Really good sound, I think. back in Nam. No. <laughs> Pop a couple tubes. As you can see, the site's animated, so that's, uh, I'll give it 100 meters. No, maybe 200. Why not? 150. That's better. <laughs> oh, maybe 200. Noob tubes not animated. I don't, I'm pretty sure you would be able to do that, but. Perfect. One more. Yards. Oh, okay, fine, whatever. One more. We're gonna hit it. See if we can use the circle. Ah, oh, we're behind. Alright. Uh, I like the guns. And it flips up and you can hear it. Oh. Why does that. Never mind. Just gonna drop this on the ground, and we will go to. Let's just do the. Uh, let's do the same Let's get like a uh, like a sniper loadout on that because it's really sexy. Uh, oh, since you can't actually change the fire rate, these things are stuck to semi-automatic. When you hit F, it toggles the bipod. It doesn't actually affect anything, but that is a nice touch. I like that. The little things like that that don't actually matter still make it better because it's just awesome. But yeah, so uh, inventory. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, I don't know, what can we do? We'll do a, we'll do this, because why not, right? Oh, no, we'll do an ACOG, because that's badass. We'll do some, see, can you do the full rail covers on this? Oh, yes, you can. That's awesome. And we will get a silence of kill. Nope, can't do silence of kill. We have to do this. It's a cool little loadout right there. As you can see, it's got that uh, the thicker outer barrel, so you might be able to use uh, way faster rounds in this than uh, just a standard 5.56. But uh, you got to do this. The ACOG's pretty nice compared to some of the other ACOGs I've seen in other mods. Cool little sound for suppressed. I don't know if I like it too much, but it's not bad. And we'll go ahead and. Uh, Pop the silencer off so you can hear this thing without it, because it doesn't use the same M16 sound as the Nob, uh, Vietnam one. It's got a nice little sound. Oh, we have to. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm terrible. Did I really? I was about to say. And uh, if you want to see the irons on this, here you go. Accuracy right there. Oh, uh, so yeah, I think uh, that. Oh, you know what? We're gonna do the AR-10 because we're demonstrating weapons here, and this, this mod is great. Red ground. I uh, will go ahead and get some of these mags out of here, so we have some room for mags on the AR-10. Well, let me drop them. All right, whatever. I passed it. Ah, uh, so yeah, AR-10 right here. We got four max, that's plenty actually, and we'll go ahead and uh, I'll put this derpy delta scope on there. And uh crouch out oh, and you can use the uh irons there, but cool little sound, you can hear the bolt, the little the clang from the bolt. Nice bit of recoil there as well. You are shooting out seven six two instead of five five six. You cannot range the scope in apparently, which makes sense, doesn't look like it's very Good scope to range in. She's got this derpy little. Bag. I'll go ahead and uh, I'll let you see some of the uh, iron sights in action here. If you're curious, 
cur if you're curious, yeah, and if you're curious, it does go full auto. So you know, is that animated? Oh yes, it is. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can hold it on target. Ten rounds. That's kind of hard to do. It's a bit of recoil there. I'll go ahead and not control the recoil. That's a bit more than the uh, regular M4. Not very effective on full auto, just like most 7.2s. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, I don't know what else to say. Uh, it's, it's a great mod. Extremely impressed. Uh, I don't know how I could have done much better. Nice grouping of scopes here. Uh, it's well done. It's well thought thought out, I guess. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely impressed. Uh, RH has never let me down, though. I have all of his mods downloaded for Arma 2. Uh, yeah, because he made he made a ton, so I'm expecting a ton more mods to come out from RH. He's already came out with the pistol mod, and I'll probably have a link for that somewhere. And then, uh, I think he's, yeah, just a pistol mod and, and this mod, but he has, like, five or ten other ones for Arma, too. So, prepare yourselves. Look at this Epic M16. And have a great day. Peace out, guys.